today we're going to go through a 15 minute beginner full body workout. There is no jumping in this workout, it is apartment friendly and low impact. We do not need any equipment for this workout, you just need a bit of room to move around in. Some of the exercises are going to be on the floor, so if you do have a yoga mat, grab that. Otherwise the carpet will be fine or a towel would work as well. We are going to go through 15 different exercises and we're going to do each for 45 seconds on and take 15 seconds rest in between them. It's going to be easy to follow along. I'm going to show you all the exercises as we go. Just make sure you have a screen somewhere where it's easy to see and let's get to it right now. Okay, up first we're going to do some punching. So we're going to go punch, punch, two to the front. So we're going to twist and punch to the left, to the right, and two to the front. So I want you to have a nice soft bend in that, those knees as you pivot and twist, and then two to the front. Okay, let's get that body moving. Let's make sure we're punching with intention. Really strong arms. Make sure you feel strong in your core and your legs here. So nice strong legs as you punch, punch, two to the front. Okay, let's go. Let's get moving. If you can move through that motion a little quicker, let's do it. You're doing awesome. So proud of you guys. I'm so excited for today's workout. Here we go. Let's have some fun today. Make sure we're smiling and we're breathing. Awesome work. Okay, up next we're gonna do a curtsy lunge with a back squeeze. So we're gonna start with those palms facing down and we're gonna curtsy lunge and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Back out, other leg. Okay, let's think about engaging those, that core to keep us stable as we squeeze those shoulder blades together, okay? Nice lunge. Make sure your knees behind those toes. Just take it nice and slow. Make sure you're doing correct form and you feel good and you feel strong. Really squeeze our shoulders face together. Make sure you're thinking about the muscles you're trying to engage as well. Let's use that mind to muscle. Here we go. Make sure we're breathing. I like to exhale as I squeeze our shoulder blades together. Awesome work. Okay, now we're gonna come into a sumo squat position. We're gonna keep us feet kind of angled out a little bit. We're bringing our arms up to here and we're gonna have them in a 90 degree position. We're gonna squat down, up, and then we're gonna rotate. So we're doing a little bit of combo moves today. We're working our lower and our arms at the same time. Oh yeah, who doesn't like to get two in one? Here we go. Let's make sure we're really sitting back in this squat so our knees are not coming forward. Our booty is going back, but we're also thinking about keeping our shoulders up and keeping our chest open. Okay, keep those arms up, don't let them drop. You can do it. Think about pushing out of those knees as well. Okay, next we are going to hold a reverse lunge. We're going to get right leg, leg back first. We're going to get into a nice position here. Hip above that knee. We're sinking low. Arms out to the side and we're going to do arm circles. So let's go forward for the first 22 and then we'll swap legs and then we'll do reverse circles. Okay, we're just holding still. You're going to have a little bit of movement because this arms are doing circles. So keep those arms up. Get nice and low in that lunge. Get as low as you can. Okay, let's get ready to change. Here we go. Change to the other leg. And now we're gonna do reverse circles. Here we go. Make sure you're sinking nice and low into that lunge. You're keeping those arms up nice and high. Don't let them drop. Oh yeah. Woo! Okay, next we are going to do a side hook. So we're going to bend those legs a little bit like this and then we're going to hook and then take that leg out to the side as we swing that arm across. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, 
Let's make sure we feel strong and we're pulling that arm around with intention. No flopping arms, not like this. Not gonna win a fight doing that. No, no, no. Okay, strong with intention. Okay, let's move that body. You can move a little faster, let's move a little faster. Otherwise, just think about good form and engaging that whole body. Keep breathing, keep smiling. We're doing this together. Make sure you're breathing. Awesome work, okay. Next up, we're gonna come down to the floor and we're gonna take those legs up nice and straight. We're gonna take these hands under our bum and we're gonna lower the legs and then we're gonna bring them in bent. Okay, so most importantly, as we lower these legs, we're not letting this back come off the ground. So you're sucking that belly button to the floor if you need to readjust and tuck those hips under, that's fine. Okay, so we're taking those legs down and in. Take them down just as far as you can without that back coming off the ground. Okay, just test the waters a little bit. See how far you can go, but don't let your back do this. Engage those abs. They should be doing all the work. Awesome work, okay. Next we're gonna do some bicycles. So take those hands behind your head like this. And if you, we're starting off here, this is the modified version of a bicycle. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more today, we can take those legs out like this and move them for this motion. So you can also wait and bring those knees in here before you take that foot out as well, okay? But you cannot do this if your back is coming off the floor. You have to keep that back on the floor and engage those abs. And make sure you're doing the form correctly here before you move up, okay? We need to get that shoulder off the ground and twist as we take those elbows to our knees. Make sure those abs are engaging. Awesome work. Okay, let's sit up and let's find ourselves into a nice balanced V sit like this. Okay, so get yourself nice and balanced and then release your hands and we're gonna take them up and down. Up and down. Okay, so if you found a balanced spot, awesome. Let's stay here. If you can't get balanced, it's okay to just slightly rest those feet there. Don't let them sit there, but just have them there just to support you so that you're not wobbling all over the place. But, you know, challenge yourself. Just lift those feet up. See if you can do it, even if it's just for a few. Okay. Make sure you're really thinking about engaging your core. Keep that all nice and tight in there, okay? You're doing awesome. Woo, okay. Even though I get a little unbalanced, it's fine. Just make sure those abs are working. Awesome work. Okay, we're gonna stay seated, seated up here for the start of this next exercise. We're gonna sit nice and tall, feel like we're being pulled up by a string at the top of our head, and we're gonna come, put our hands by our thighs, and we're gonna slide down, and roll down that spine, nice and slow, and then up. Okay, so, I want you to count. So like, take five counts. So one, two, three, four. Five, and then come up. If you need to use your hands to help you, that's fine. Just make sure those abs are working and you're really controlling your way down. The slower you can go down, the more control you have of your abs and the more they're gonna have to work. Okay. Really engage that core and those abs. Awesome work. Okay, let's come over onto all fours now and let's do some bird dog. So we're going to take the opposite hand and opposite foot out and then we're going to crunch that elbow and knee together in the middle here like this. Okay, 
So make sure you've got that supporting arm directly under your shoulder so you're not putting any extra strain on that arm. Keep yourself nice and balanced. You can focus on lengthening and then crunching the middle. Okay, we're here for a few more and then we're gonna change sides. Okay, let's get ready to change. Here we go, other side. Make sure you're breathing through this motion. It's not fast, it's steady and controlled. Think about those abs, think about those muscles that are working. Awesome work, okay, next. We are gonna go into a high plank and we are gonna push back into a child's pose, come forward, and then we're gonna do a shoulder attack. Okay, so if you can do a full plank and then shoulder tap, that is awesome, and continue to do this. If this is too challenging, come down onto your knees and do the same motion, come forward, and then we can just do a shoulder tap here. If you can modify anything, so if you can't do the shoulder tap, you come down to the knees for this, and then come back up and push back. Just do what feels best for you. Just keep that body moving and feel strong, okay. Awesome work, okay. We're gonna come up onto our knees like this now and then we're gonna take that lift arm down to the ground and we're gonna take that leg out here and then we're gonna lift it up and up, up. Up. This might be your right arm, that's okay. Whatever side, we're just gonna start on this side and we're gonna do the other, okay. Let's get those legs up nice and high. Make sure your shoulder is above your wrist. We're here for a few more. Okay, let's get ready to change. Bring your knee in and then let's go down onto the other side and lift up that leg. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can and lift it up. You should be feeling it in the side of your glutes here and also your legs if you're keeping them nice and long. Awesome work, okay. Now we are gonna do some triceps. So we're gonna come into a tabletop position like this and we're gonna take those hands just slightly in front of those shoulders and we're gonna come down, up, and then we're gonna reach out and out. Okay, if this feels good, that's awesome and let's stay here. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can bring the arms out a little further. That will just make those triceps work a little bit more. So just think about steady and controlled motion here. Make sure it feels good. Really reach those hands out too. Only a couple more exercises to go. Woo! Okay, second to last exercise. Here we go. We're gonna do some mountain climbers. So now, options are, we do them slow, but nice and controlled, and we think about engaging and squeezing that knee to our chest. And we hold for about two seconds, so one, two, one, two, okay. Otherwise, we run them out, okay. Whatever you can do, even if you can just do a few running, and then a couple slow, that's fine. Just keep that body moving, make those abs work. Here we go, guys. Only one more exercise to go, let's finish strong. You can do it. Really bring those knees to your chest. Keep breathing, stay with me. Awesome work, okay. Final exercise for today's workout is a bear crawl hold. So, again, we're on these all fours, but this time we're gonna tuck those toes under and we're gonna lift those knees. So those knees are gonna hover. 
Make sure your wrists are on top of your shoulders. Do you feel strong? Lift and hover those knees. Let's think about pushing through those shoulders, engaging our abs as we hover here. Okay, this is it guys. Let's stay strong. Let's see how long we can hold this, okay? Keep breathing. Don't think about the pain. Think about something else. Think about what you're going to do after this workout. Let's end this workout strong, guys. We're doing it together. Keep those legs covered. If you need to, it's only a quick rest and back up, okay? Challenge yourself. You can do it. Woo! Awesome workout, guys. Double high five. You are doing amazing. You are amazing. If you like this video, make sure you're giving it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that big subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the next workout. I was so much fun working out with you today. Until next time, please stay safe, stay well. I love you all.